Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the right side as the Vermok player, we have Techno. Spawn on the left side as the US player, we have Diamondback. Some other reason when I, see, I think of that, I think of TF2. The one spy revolver known as Diamondback. Get guaranteed crits if you kill buildings. Pioneers, looks like a triple Pioneer opener, like the last one's probably go... Oh, nope, the second one's going to go for the Vermok quarters. This pioneer is going for the cutoff point, and then perhaps maybe eyeing some of these points over here. Could make towards a central munitions point. Over here, we've got two engineers and two what appears to be likely a rifleman. Could be a jeep, but I'm guessing rifleman. And also, these engineers or pioneers going to eye for capture the other flanks for their resources. So he is having eye for this area here. Could throw down some wire beforehand here and here. And looks like he's actually avoiding the point and going straight for wire here. He's going to be wiring it up, but not to explode. Just simply to cut, be very sharp and cutty. Pioneer team ready. Half fire is in place. And he's not capturing that fuel point just yet, just ordered a rally over there. Nope, he is capturing it up. Prepare for duty. You need any construction? have captured a fuel supply. And there's the sound of my heater turning on. I need to turn that thing off when I'm recording and casting. And streaming. Lots of wire being deployed on out. And it looks like he's going to make a triangle shape back to the MG. We have the victory point. Volk's grenadiers here. Rifleman making their advance. May you see the first engagement of the game? Nope. Just out of range from each other. Fresh Shimvagen deployed on out. Tell us who to shoot. Shimvagen's now taking the fire along the Volkswagen here. Perhaps engaged, yes, successfully at long range. Maybe push a little bit farther forward. Should be in range if he pushes forward right here. Yep, he will be. Rifleman behind heavy cover, Volk's Rendeers behind heavy cover, and the Shimwagen's getting some good damage as well while absorbing most of the fire. Which is relatively good that the Shimwagen absorbs fire because that can repair it up while the health of the Volk's Rendeer can be a bit harder to come by. A fresh set of Volk's Rendeer has been poured on out. Down south we've got the Engineers, we've got a double wired up here. Engineers of course can cut that. Shrimvagen is getting repaired up. Now it's at full repair. It's a fresh set of Volkswagen are behind the heavy cover as well, but we've got some more riflemen here as well. It's going to be a prolonged engagement in the center of the map. Honestly, you don't really see this all too often in the center of the map here. Most of the time, the of first engagement comes along the Franks. Not right there. More tank traps being deployed out by the Wehrmacht player. And this rifle, Volkswagen Deer squad does fall back, and Rick Apart thinks that netted the ground right there when he fell back. Engineer is getting some good damage there onto the Shimwagen. And Volkswagen are still behind heavy cover there. So standing quite a bit of fire. Got a fresh MG42 deployed now. And this Rifleman squad could also go behind the heavy cover there for more of his firing line. Engineers and Pioneers are both inside these buildings. Both of them a bit wounded. But the Shimwagen is coming to engage the engineers here. But maybe reloading at the moment. 
Volk's Grandiers eyeing to fall back a little bit towards this uh, heavy cover to try to maintain their range. MG42 here has been set on up, maybe trying to draw them into the MG42 to suppress them. Still has all six of their models, but they're all quite wounded, so some of these bursts here can start picking off the models. To play on some heavy sandbags as well, some heavy cover. Engineers have seen quite a bit of fire as well. Engineers. Does lose another bottle there to the Schimmwagen. The Volkswagen is pushing the way forward, but the riflemen are behind heavy cover. And they're both quite wounded. The riflemen more so, but the heavy cover there should be a win out, but he's pulling out some heavy cover of his own. Does drop a model there, sending quite a bit of fire there, trying to build up those sandbags. Over here, we've got the Pioneers pushing the way forward. We've got Flamer Pioneer. The other Pioneer is severely wounded. Our forward supply lines are broken. Over here, Volksgrandiers have been reinforced, need to push this way forward. We've got a battle phase going on up. And now here comes a nice flank by a Flamer Engineer, getting some great damage in there, forcing back the Riflemen. This, however, Flamer Pioneer will need to fall back relatively soon, because with his forces nearby, he can get easily overwhelmed. Sniper has been pulled on out, getting its first kill onto the Rifleman. Flamer and Pine Rifleman are going to be charging on forward against the Sniper. He will need to fall back relatively shortly. That was not squad wide, the last model is still up there. Flamer Pioneer and MG42 getting some great damage on these forces, forcing them all back. The Pioneer is quite wounded now, down to his last model. Campcraft Center has been completed, likely eyeing for some infantry up uh, Vector C. Infantry 42 is out of range as well. The Schirmbogen does get a nice burst there onto the Rifleman. And right now with the negative ground, he should be sustaining a lot more damage. Rifleman and engineers making their way forward. There is a mine super on this engineer. Don't think we've seen landmines just yet, but having one deployed out is not necessarily half bad thing. Speaking about landmines, there's a landmine. We do have a half track being deployed on out from the Kriegs Barrack, so likely I am for some reinforcements. I doubt it's going to be a flamer half track. MP40s have been upgraded on the Volkscreen Deer. I do love that upgrade. And the sniper does get a good kill there. Flame Ranger is pushing the way forward, but we'll run the MP40 Volks. So There's going to be a lot of damage from both sides. While the mall's getting burned up a bit there, Flamer Pioneers are covering the flank, allowing the Shimbog and knock them around for more Flamer Burst. Both the Flamer Engineers are suppressed. One of them does get fully wiped there. Flamer Pioneer will fall back, but may get wiped out himself. Yeah. MP40 Volk Squad needs to get farther forward and does lose a Shimbog uh, right there. The MP40 bolt could get inside the garrison, but no, but the rifleman does. 
And with a reinforcement half track here, he should be able to get these MP40 bolts constantly firing against these forces, doing a lot of damage. He does fall back, he needs to get behind that heavy cover there. There's a Wehrmacht landmine there, which could be very important very soon, but could detonate killing off a lot of his own Volksgrandeers as well. But gets rid of the part things at negative ground here, while the rifleman inside this garrison will need to fall back relatively shortly because they're quite wounded as well. Sniper does get a good hit there, and doesn't look like there's any landmine or tree path either. On the right side, we've got the Kriegs Barrack, Wehrmacht quarters over here. We do have just the barracks. It looks like another rifleman being deployed now. It could be for a jeep since he saw that sniper, or it could be an upgrade of some sort. Let's switch over the US player. Sticky bombs, actually, before the half track. Flamer pioneers or flamer engineers engaging the Volkswagen deers. It looks like the head light cover there of the for the engineers allowing them to win out versus the MP40 Volks. We're losing a point out there. Composition B is in. Half track has been loaded on up. I think it's still loaded up with a Grenadier squad, Volks Grenadier. Yep, a four-man Volksgrenadier is inside the half-track, and a great grenade there onto the garrison does wipe out the MG42 entirely. Half-track has been pointed out, he may get a sticky bomb off here. The half-track itself can provide suppression, give him enough time, but he will get off a sticky bomb there. Frag grenade there from the Grenadiers, I meaning a great hit there. All these forces could potentially get wiped, throws out his own grenade there, getting good amount of Volksgrenadier models. Sticky bomb does connect. Does get a damaged engine there with a suppression there. That reference is now fully pinned there. Grenadiers do recover from their own suppression, but they're severely wounded, largely thanks to that flamer burst. Trying to rush forward onto that sniper, but gets annihilated completely and blows up. The cutoff point has been decaptured, allowing to deny the income from this munitions point and from this munitions point. Grandiers could use some medical supplies, are a bit low, and the chance of a combat in that sector is very likely very soon. Yeah, half track ready. Supplies oh, yes, yes. Pass the word back. And now we have the assault phase deployed on now. Now I can get out a, a uh, Sturm Armory. So we may see a Nebelwerfer. I don't know why, but a Nebelwerfer seems likely to me at this point. Though likely, we probably see armor car. Either, never, either one of the Never Warfare or Armor cars. Grenadier squad is falling him back, does dodge the grenade that was thrown. Yeah. Rifleman squads forcing back the Volks Grenadiers. A sector. And now half track is receiving a, another sticky bomb there. Its damaged engine's already damaged, so it's getting more damaged engine. It does not. And the MP40 folks here can do some great damage. They're close range, but not getting focus fired down. And does get a destroyed engine crit there, but you can't get gunned down there. It does get gunned down. We are losing ground. Times you wish you didn't lose that MG42. And wish you had more MP40 Volks in that region. But you will be going to the cough point for his, uh, against his opponent now. What are your orders? He has deployed out a fresh MG42, seeing how much his opponent blobs up. It's probably a good idea. Perhaps deployed a raid around here to provide good Attention. covering fire from this the region. Fire. Fire. 
We do have some Wehrmacht landmines that were not discovered from earlier. Nothing being fired from the Stream Armory, nor from the Kriegs Barrack. More Pentrick shots into the heavy cover. And it looks like this rifle squad with four members is capturing up that uh, VP. Looks like he's gone for a bit more of a heavy cover around this area. And more sniper shots are now raining on in. Rifleman tries to out frag grenade there, but does, does cancel it. Greyhounds make his advance. We do have armor skirts. 50 cal is likely on the way soon. Panshark is going to be a prioritizing the Greyhound, but does roll a miss there, hitting the heavy cover. Down south, we do have the MP40 Volks engaging the Rifleman. Looks the MP40 Volks will rent, went out long range. Will not get wiped out there. More of the heavy cover is now cleared out, so likely, hopefully, the next shot would actually hit. Either it seems like Panshrek just annihilates everything, or they just miss all the time, because that was another miss of the Panshrek, and the Pazza Faust does come forward. Finally gets a hit there. And he's not responding. He should needs to fall back. Does get a kill there on one of the models there, allowing him to back away safely. And this Volkswagen Deer squad has picked up a bar. Very nice. And we do have a mine that was swept there. Casualty clearing station has come on forward. MG42 does find some good suppression there. This casualty is the first one they've already recovered. And it's going to be salvaging up the wreckage over there, which I believe was a Schimwagen. And it looks like the uh, minesweepers do get forced back by the MP40s. We've got fresh, no, not fresh sniper. That's 20 kills on the sniper. I think I just saw a Stug deployed on out. Yes, we do have a Stug now on the field. Sitting up over here would be quite nice. MG42 is set up on more forward position as well. And my land might be deployed on out as well. Very nice. Maybe we should put Stug over here to allow him to start engaging up north. Though he does have to worry about his own tank trap there. I'm not sure if there's enough room there to traverse. Vet 1 tanks coming on out, so the Stug should soon be at Vet 1. Do we see any infantry on the uh, infantry? We do see Vet 1 infantry, no Vet 1 support units. Armor car has been deployed on out as well. Only one casualty has been recovered. Does roll a miss there. And now the rifleman squads are getting suppressed there. These forces are pushing the way forward, and we do have the 234 advancing. It does throw out a stick grenade there, gain some good damage. This recommend is at Vector C2. We've got the sniper here. One kill, so he does know about it. The Wehrmacht sniper does fire. US sniper does not fire quickly. Oh, no. It's still being revealed. But does not get the shot off there. Even now, now the sniper just finally gets re-camouflaged. Greyhound does get a good kill there. Pentrick does not manage to fire in time. What now? Has Faust fires. And Stroke does roll a miss there. Has Faust is now firing now. 
taking a good hit there. Stoke does roll a miss, however. Rifleman now charging forward. May seek sticky bomb there. The Stoke needs to charge on forward, but allows the Greyhound to circle around and hit the back of the Stoke. The Stoke's just gonna just run away. And now he's taking a bad path back at home. He may be able to get a sticky bomb off. Another good rear armor hit there. Armor cars and Mile make his advance. We've got Propaganda War, so Terror Doctrine has been selected. Such the US player. Do we have off-map power shoots both so it's infantry versus terror? Greyhound does roll a miss there. MP40 Volks now advancing. Your sniper is camouflage there. Does uncamouflage there. Your frag grenade does come out, but they flinch from the Greyhound, prevented them from getting good kills. Do we see a tank depot? No tank depot deployed on out. And a frag grenade thrown. But mostly more damage to himself than on to the MG42. That is a medic there. Sniper still looking around. Let's switch back to the Vermont player. See how many casualties left. Yeah. Once this uh, casualty gets recovery covered, he will have a free grenadier. We have another armor car being deployed on Alp. Hendrick Squad does get a good hit there, but he is quite wounded. Sniper, US Sniper could potentially get a shot off and follow-up shot from Greyhound could potentially get the wipe. Field repairs complete. Veterans engaged. And now we have Vet 1 vehicles. Ooh, and there goes that medic. The other medic will be rushing on forward soon. Brockman will get sticky bomb. No, they will not get the sticky bomb off on the armored car. And now they're going to stay a lot of fire from it. Greyhounds make his way forward. We may see a Panzerfaust off onto the Greyhound. Stokes now advancing on forward. Armored car is going to start hitting some of the support infantry. Pack uh, M180 gun has been pointing out, getting good hit there on the armor car. Stoke is advancing, trying to get that Greyhound. Does receive a bounce there from the AT gun. Grandier squad is falling back. No. Ooh, two sticky bombs there. No kinds of bounce, nothing like that. Fully immobilized Stoke, but luckily does have the frontal armor right here. AT gun does get decrewed there by the sniper. The sniper himself is down right there. Sticky Bomb does come forward, takes out the Stug, and second Sticky Bomb was thrown as well, which will accomplish nothing. Greyhound may receive some Panzer Faust fire. No, it does not look like it will. Nor any 50mm fire. Does the 50 cal temporary decrew, picking up the AT gun for himself, which is very good. He needs to get this guy retreated back. He's going to run straight into AT gun here. And right now he's dancing around right in front of it. Use the Puma to push his way forward. Does roll a miss there. It's going to get very messy very quick. He will find some good rear armor hits there. I'm not sure if he'll take one or two shots or two or three shots to kill it. Does roll a miss there with the AT gun. Hans Faust does connect. And that's with the one member there. Rolls another miss there. Greyhound does receive a hit. The auto cannons should be able to save the AT gun from the rifleman, but he may receive some more and more fire. Looks like that's a repair bunker nearby. And does has a force retreat there. Very nice. Heavy recon, ready for action. We do have an M1 AT gun here. I was half expecting it to, when I looked down there being M2. And it looks like somebody else being deployed out there. Another AT gun, so it's going to setting up some AT guns to fire across the river. Another sniper shot there on the Pioneers. And we have a pan truck here. It's going to hop inside the church. Ready to, uh, some police smiting from the windows. Hey, 
And the Grenadier Squad is going to make a soft retreat away. May need a full retreat. Yeah, we'll manage this retreat away. Auto Cannon Fire will help cover their retreat as well. They're quite wounded, but luckily their natural, very slow health regen could keep them in the fight for a little bit longer. Or can use some medical crates. Three Rifleman Squads are here. Sniper shots into the Volksgren Deers. Rifleman all are all getting suppressed by this MG42. Great placement there, or poor movement by the US player. It depends how you want to look at it. Auto cannon starting to make their way forward. And the MP40 folks are here to support. They could perhaps rush forward through this direction to engage these forces and potentially find the sniper while at it. But probably the sniper will force them back. Can't rush in squads at one time with a sniper nearby. We are losing a sector. It's gonna be behind the capture that munitions point. The sniper will pick them off one by one. The Grandier does receive the next sniper shot there. Which is good because our Panzer Shrek is a bit of a problem. Does roll a miss there with the Panzer Shrek. Nothing else being deployed out by the Wehrmacht player. No levels of efficiency, nor any... What's it called? Uh, battle phases. And, oh, here comes an M2. An M2 deployed out in the back of the base. And it looks like it immediately gets the deep through on the captured M1 AT gun. And losing that is actually quite important because that's a pretty hard point. Allows them not to need to play out a Stug in order to engage the Greyhound. Though it could fly out his own Pack 38. Model being recovered, but does get sniped right there. And does actually leave the, the repair bunker exposed. Grandiers start to make their advance, but they will run with the Rifleman squad, so he won't be able to advance for too much farther. They do fall back there. And the casualty recovery bunker, let's switch back to the US or Wehrmacht player. It only has one casualty recovered at the moment. These Rifleman squads still just trying to peek around, trying to find a good way to enter in. Got AT gun here and here, so he has split them up across the river. And we do know about the Warfermen. The Warfermen could start barraging this general area once he finds a stationary target. I think that was a medic that gone down. Yep. Hans Paus does connect there, but now the Greyhound is at Petrusy 2. Has seen quite a bit of fire. Dropped two of them. Nope, he has, all th he has three models, not two. Reference squad will manage to fall back. AT guns make his advance as well. Getting a good hit there onto the Greyhound. Ooh, finds a landmine suppressing the Volks Grenadiers, and that was a Wehrmacht landmine. Greyhound does go down to the AT gun. And now the Autocans should be able to be a bit more aggressive engaging these forces, but still have to be worried about the AT guns and the uh, sticky bombs, such as that one. Nice cross has been deployed now. Warfarman getting a great barrage there. That may have been the, one of the best Warfarman barrages I've seen. No Warfers can work better than Warfarmans, but that was a great barrage there. He's scoring seven kills. Now he's going to be focused on the destruction of the AT gun. It has sustained quite a bit of fire from the Warfarman. And now he can deploy out a Tiger tank as well, or King Tiger, should say. Just needs a bit more manpower. Oh, 
the King Tiger may be a good idea just to lock down the central sector, allowing his uh, scout cars just maintain the flanks and perhaps put allow them to put some pressure over here while having a very hard point here. Right from being reinforced, we do of course have a defensive landmine there, very nice. Only one M2 deployed on now, he's going for a tank depot now, likely for an M10 or a Sherman tank. Inspired assault's now available, he does have enough manpower for the King Tiger, he does have enough population as well. I would say go for it. Now is a great time for it. Attention, the enemy advances! Tiger tank's not being deployed on out by a panther. Stick grenade thrown. I suppose now's a good time for a panther as well. He has a fuel for it. Save the king tiger when he doesn't have the fuel for another tank. Maybe at this point also when a panther 4 would be better than a panther. Since if they have a bit more infantry effectiveness. Granted, we do have Cassifin seeing him going for a tank depot, so we know the panther would be great in the future, but he doesn't have caster vision. Artillery onto that uh, repair engineer. Nice cross border does find a landmine there that's severely wounded. They do fall back, though they have not dropped the model just yet. He will need one more casualty after this one to get a free squad. And this Volkswagen Deer squad will be falling back. Has not been able to capture this point here. Panther, of course, has one level of veteran C. No veteran C being researched at the moment. Looks like he has to pause the couch D right there. Fall right here. He's getting some great damage there onto that rifleman. And here, Warferman Barrage. Does destroy the garrison there. And that's about it. Goes to start a barrage to this recovery bunker there. It does look like a landmine there. Volks Grenadiers and Grenadiers make their advance. The MP40 Volks is still alive, which is way back here, supporting the Knights Cross Holders. Very nice. Throws out a stick bomb into the garrison. That's just a mine super squad that's really not worth it. Veterancy gain. Vet 2 light vehicles have been researched, not Vet 2 tanks. Propaganda War knocks. Force back three squads. A nice cross order and MP40 Volks now charging forward. We've got Hellcat charging forward as well. Very congested bridge. The AT guns can push us way forward. Throws out a frag grenade there. Since good around the armored car. Patrick does get a nice hit in as well. Does take out one of the armored cars there with the AT guns. One of the AT guns are facing the wrong direction as well. He could perhaps keep. Since the armor cars now have the mission returns, he perhaps could post it next to the other uh, VP. But great more from the barrage there. He crews both of the artillery, of uh, both the uh, AT guns. Good sniper hit there. Anticon has been reclaimed. Both of them can be reclaimed, but they are both of them a bit wounded as well. More artillery running on in the casualty recovery bunker. Medics are not out and about, so he's not recovering these casualties. These are out of range. Fire 
firestorm on our enemy. Firestorm's now the available. Our territory. Which could be very useful right here. Not only to deal damage, but the actual lingering fire effect could prevent the bridge from being traversed. Hellcat charge on forward. Is that Fetcher C1? Does receive a hit there by the Panther. Austin has been pulling on out, so he will have some good anti infantry assets, but he needs more veteran seat for the Austin one. And veteran seat wouldn't hurt the Panther either. Bearmox US sniper right here, 26 kills. Bearmox sniper, of course, long dead. And folks are going to do a squad falling back. Hendrick does roll a miss there. And he's supposed to gain suppressing, getting nailed by the Warfman Barrage. Holy crap. That Warferman. 18 kills. Patrick does connect, takes out the Hellcat there. And Austin is now out in the field, getting some good damage on these forces. The AT guns, this was the crude, but not destroyed. The other one, I'm not sure where it's at. Right here. Austin's getting some great hits there, and now the auto cannons come in support as well. Osman has the same bit of beating there. Firestorm's now raining on in on top of the art, uh, AT gun. It does get a direct hit there on the AT gun. The AT gun could, does get fully destroyed there. More and more rocket barrages raining on in on the riflemen. Nice crossorders are not being suppressed at the moment. But they will run to a lot of fire right there. Sniper will fall back, getting healed up by the triage center. Oh, it's only down half health, nothing too significant. Warfman barrage raining on in, and outright missing this time. Not all barrages can be amazing at this past game. AT gun does receive a send a hit there onto the armored car, and we got a frag sick grenade there onto the AT gun. Largely gets dodged. Now we do have some lot of veterancy on the rifleman snow being accumulated, but it doesn't have anything really to engage these uh, vehicles. He needs more artillery, if not more AT guns. We do have a Hellcat here, as well as a half track. He doesn't need to worry about aircraft flying over. Ooh. And there goes Recovery Bunker, and I think the amount of boss kills there, I think a Grenadier just got deployed out and really got wiped, because that is... That's three... Two Grenadier models, two Volks Grenadier models. How many squads got wiped there? He's down a Volks Grenadier. He sounds MP40 Volks, so also wiped out the MP40 Volks. MG team will get decrewed, and he can claim that gun for his own usage. AT gun, however, does get decrewed again. And the reference squad will need to fall back. Bunker here. Perhaps, based on his positioning, that could be a MG bunker. It is a casual recovery bunker. He can perhaps throw an MG. No, he doesn't, he doesn't have an MG anymore into the bunker itself. Sniper does connect, getting some good damage there on the Knight's Cross holders. He may crush that model. It does get two of the crushes, models crushed there. Very nice. Still only one level of vehicle vector seats with a Wehrmacht player. Rifleman charging on four once again. Likely there's going to be a Warfman barrage in this region very soon. 
Does get damage, damage there on the Panther, thinks a sticky bomb, but minor damage on these riflemen squad. The riflemen should be able to charge on forward, but they will have to run through the auto cannons of the Oswin and the Flak and and the uh two three four. Hellcast is on to make his charge, does get a nice pen there. AT guns also advancing. We do have a off-map power shoot now running on in the sector. Also in severely wounded. Does take out one of the repair engineers there. That Propaganda War forces back those riflemen. Allowing the uh, Panther gets some good hits there onto the Hellcat. And right now it's getting body blocked by the Ostwin. And if Panther does get hit there, forcing out of control. Thought he may have thought he had enough health, but he did not. Probably thinks of these... Uh, the Oswin's ability to do some penetrating hits, but oof, main gun destroyed does not get killed off there. And finds a landmine there as well, but the Panther has plenty of health. Oof, and the half tractor seeing quite a bit of fire there from the AT gun. And rolls a miss there. Auto can trying to charge force saves uh, a warferman, but it looks like the AT guns will take out these auto auto cannon scout this auto cannon scout car. And there goes the scout car. Austin severely wounded, Panthers wounded. He does have a second half track here, but not upgrade of anything at the moment. And here comes the warfarin barrage, largely missing this round as well. And now the repair bunker is under siege. Does get an AT gun shot off there, but doesn't get a uh, pen. Sig bomb does connect. Just damage, no more crits. Hellcat charging forward, trying to get to the side and rear armor of the Panther. But doesn't continue forward on the road. Panther's gun still trained on the Hellcat. Rotating his armor, which does prevent him from getting a pen there. Panther does roll a miss there. Try to act like a battleship with plunge and fire. Main gun destroyed there. AT gun is still far back here. And does get the kill there on the Hellcat. Unable to secure the kill. Maybe the artillery piece is going to be running on in now. Oswin getting some great hits there. Fetch and C2 on the vehicles. Nope, no artillery piece there. Does manage to throw a sticky bomb there on the flak. Panzer. Repair bunker still very much alive. The US players down the 25 tickets. He's losing a lot of law squads there. And there goes the repair bunker there. Casualty recovery bunker still in the region. He still has a half track here. I'm not sure why he got him for the half track. I command officer V1 rocket. You must choose the target. V1 can now be deployed on out. If the amount of tickets that his opponents are lacking, could be a good time to go for the King Tiger now. Start to make their advance as an un unvetted pioneer, so no vet uh, support weapons. We do have the Grandier and Hope's Grandier in this region. And he's searching for a casualty. He needs four more casualties to get a free Grenadier. That's maybe the free Grenadier. Repair Bunker has gone down. Artillery Priest does connect and destroys the Repair Casualty Recovery Bunker. from and Barrage trying to eye for these buildings or these structures. That structure's AT gun. AT gun does get decrewed there by the Volksgrandeers. And the Captain Infantry 42 is making his advance. Sniper is still in the region. US Sniper is up to 39 kills. And the Volksgrandeers are rushing on forward.
Black Panther has been fully repaired. Good hits there on those riflemen. Vet 2 Oswin takes very little prisoners, while a Vet 3 Oswin takes no prisoners. Fresh Howlcat has been pulled on out, trying to eye for the Panther, who still hasn't been repaired, just now being touched. And this Grenadier is being sort of stuck there because this one model is stuck. Does fire some rear armor hits there, and while the frontal armor of the Panther is the only thing showing. Panshrek does fire, misses, hits the hedge. And now off my power shoots are raining on in. He may not realize this actually was under fire. He may even focus on the center of the map. Yep, he is not paying attention. He may lose both of these, uh, both the Panther and the Pioneers. I'm sort of surprised the Panther did not go down. Good hit there onto the Ostwin. And the Pantrick does find the main gun of the Hellcat, but Hellcat should be able to run away. Takes the road, the extra movement speed will come in handy. here going for a frag grenade does knock any kills there or hits there mg42 captured mg42 inside the church will give him some great uh, hard point there this player says 25 tickets not a whole lot remaining but enough to stay in the game anything above zero is enough to stay in the game another frag grenade thrown does get one of the most there the volks grenadier here comes a warferman getting some great hits down the rifleman does get a whole squad wipe and the light vehicles do have Vector C2 as well. Knights Cross Hordors do get some suppression there. M1 AT gun severely wounded. The gun itself is almost destroyed. He does have two half tracks. This one does not have the Warframe upgrade. Sniper may get the kill there on the Pioneer. Nope, he does not fire off a shot there. Also, we make his way forward, gain some good damage there onto the uh, MG. Grenadier's on perhaps iron for a frag grenade as well. Yep, main gun destroyed there as well. Hellcat charging forward. Those throw out a frag grenade there. Pat King Tiger deployed on out. Does not get the kill there on the uh, MG. Offman power shoot onto the Ostwin. Maybe I'll get the kill there. First round scattered out wide. King Tiger does. Patrick does get the kill there on the Hellcat. And the Ostwin manages to crawl out of that barrage. US Sniper could get killed off by the King Tiger. Does camouflage there. And there is a quad half track upgrade now. One well placed shot there on the AT gun, and it will get destroyed. And here comes the Warframan Barrage. Somehow the MG is still not dead. AT gun being repaired on up, which may withstand an additional shot. The charge itself is almost destroyed. Yep, the AT gun managed to withstand a shot thanks to the repairs from the engineer. Infantry started to push his way forward. The northern BP is still decaptured, so right now it's a neutral capture for both sides, which will favor the Baramok player given enough time. 
Damage into there on the King Tiger. Far from making their trying to make their advance. Volks Grandiers. Not real Volks Grandiers. Regular Grandiers make their advance. Trying to go from the sticky bomb on the King Tiger. Also is truck pushing his way forward as well. So just expect to see two on these some of these vehicles. Panther has full health, so perhaps just attack moving up north here. And one well play shot on the church and it will go down. Warferman shot a barrage will likely finish off the church. Or not. It will just scatter all around the church. I swear the Warferman are just like, oh, either A, it's gonna be really good, or B, not very good. Down south, we've got the Volks Grandiers making their advance. There is a landmine here, as well as, the, of course, the MG bunker itself. Does fall back, finds a landmine, loses three models immediately to that landmine. Now, Volks Grandier will likely get wiped out. One model remaining, rifleman right here. Yep, not even close. Church is still up. MG has been evacuated. The MG actually may have died before the Halfa Church did, honestly. Another War from the Barrage getting some great hits there. No, that's a Firestorm. Aetion does get decrewed, and when these riflemen start advancing forward, they will have to walk uh, Brave the Fire. Uh, sniper gets annihilated by the Panther. And now there's a capture against the U.S. player, and with this point not being recaptured as well, there's soon going to be a double capture, and that will be game. The riflemen here are trying to push forward to create capture point, but that's game. I don't. He's not decapturing the point immediately. The riflemen do drop a bar there, but at this point, it's over. Even if he gets that point decaptured, he needs to get fully captured because the northern point is not being approached, but still being far from captured up. Lost a unit. He can just cast a V1 on top of the VP. We are losing ground. And propaganda war. And that's the end of the game. This end grade.